Yo, up next, that boy Boom, man, look. We're going to talk about what's going on with your boy, man. I know y'all seen that No Jumper interview. Yo, shout out No Jumper, man. Y'all been holding it down for a little minute, man. Shout out No Jumper. Shout out Adam from No Jumper and the whole squad over there, man. Rock with y'all. But I will say this, man. That interview was so crazy. Like, I was watching it, and I was like, yo, this nigga should not be, <laughs> this nigga should not be getting recorded right now. Like, like, yo, y'all should not be doing this interview with this nigga. He's so fucked up. But I understand. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The interview was what it was. And then uh, later on, uh, I see your boy coming through a... Uh, uh, on Instagram, crying. Now, y'all, y'all know how I feel about shit like this, man. Mental health is huge to me. It's real big, man. Like how 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 one person deals with a situation and a scenario ain't gonna be the same as the next person, man. So, like, I try not to judge people and what they're going through, man. But um, just crying on Instagram, it's clearly a. a Clearly a, a true cry for attention. Now he got famous from from doing uh, all of these skits and things that that got him all of this attention. But when that attention slow down, and don't nobody really would give a fuck about no boom gang whole lot of gang shit because niggas ain't really trying to go to jail and get arrested for stealing some shit just to go viral. I mean everybody ain't got the well, I would say the balls to do it, but you really ain't even gotta have the balls to do it. You really just gotta be that desperate or that dumb to do some stupid shit to put your life in danger, your future in danger for some Instagram likes or some Facebook, YouTube likes. I mean, I mean, I, I get it, but if bro going through something, you know, we gotta support him. And we as a community gotta support each other. And I'm not saying that we need to reach out to this nigga Boom. Cause we don't know this nigga like that. We don't know what he really going through. But I will tell you who do know what he going through. It's them niggas around him. Guarantee them niggas around him is down for the ride to go ahead and pop them Zans or pop that Molly or smoke this, drink that. Oh wow. We got a couple girls with us. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, we on. Meanwhile. The whole reason why we even here next to this nigga, or even even in this studio, is because of this nigga right here. And this nigga right here is, is damn near dying. That's embarrassing, man. That's embarrassing, man, to go ahead and, and, and you go back and you look at this shit and you like, damn, man, my, my own niggas didn't even, they seen me down bad and try to capitalize and not like yo say yo g come on hey yo come with me yo like yo yeah we not doing this interview today like, i know i'm sorry man yo he not feeling well you know we can reschedule man matter of fact i'll pay for my own flight to come back out here don't worry about it it's all on me like i'm sorry like yo let it be known if you really holding down your mans like that hold your mans down but these gonna be the same motherfuckers that let this nigga commit suicide be like man I always knew he was going through some shit, but y'all niggas let the nigga go through some shit and then put him on out, put him on, on on camera. Got this nigga looking crazy. Now we can't do nothing about what he posts on his own Instagram, but that just that just adds more fuel to the to the to the to the fire. What he already going through, man. Look, look, bro. Look, I'm praying for you, man. If anybody else want, you know, send drop some prayers for the man. Man, we all going through some some shit, some struggles, man. So put a prayer for everybody in that prayer, man. Make sure everybody get it. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, personally, bro, I feel like just just stay off of the stay off the damn social media for a while. Just fall back, man. Collect your thoughts, man. Look at your circle. Make sure the niggas around you solid. Cause ain't no way I have I have my my dogs outside on an interview when they fucked up looking crazy, man. Hell nah, tighten up. And we ain't doing this interview. If you can't get through and do this business, tighten up. This might not be for you. You feel me? So. Shit, man, tell me what y'all think, man. Get down below in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man, if y'all fuck with me, man. Yo, much support, man. Until then, y'all already know what's up.